Hey guys, Andy Lou, food lifestyle and wellness coach for the RX Review. I've got Erin here, CrossFit enthusiast. How was training this morning, 6 a.m. start? <laughs> it was good, it was good. <laughs> Must be hungry? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to show you how to make some fit food fast and uh, pretty important to have sort of a good post-workout snack ready to go that's high in uh, nutrition because it's the micronutrition, the vitamins and minerals that help to keep you full fuller for longer. So get in here and let's make a chia seed pudding. So what I'll get you to do is we don't even need an oven or anything like that. Just chuck some chia seeds in a bowl. Power Superfoods is my favourite. So what do chia seeds do? What are they good for? Oh, they're so high in nutrition and that's actually what we want. They've got folate, iron, fibre, so much calcium and it's actually so much more bioavailable or easier for the body to assimilate that calcium than even dairy. So yeah, we actually need a bit more than that, babe. We're going to be very hungry. So we'll put the whole thing in the bowl. Um, and the recipes are actually in my new book, Real Fit Food. So quantities and all that sort of stuff you can grab from here. But let's get those chia seeds in there and also good fats in the coconut cream. So the whole of that I love coconut. coconut. Do you? Mm, so good. Oh, that's good because anything from a coconut's really good for you, especially the whole fat. put in? The whole thing. Yep, thank you. And um, the, the key ingredient now after the coconut cream is the cacao. So. I know, and you see how you're trying to get all that good fat off there? That's what's really important. So we really need to get all of that fat. That's the most important part of this meal is the good fats. Very, very important for training. We need good fats in our diet to help fuel our performance. Our hormones are made up of good fats and cholesterol. So if we're not replacing them, we're going to feel really sluggish. Um, so let's get some cacao in there as well. I know it sounds like I'm being really posh and saying cacao, and you think, why isn't she just saying cocoa? smells like chocolate. Yeah, well that's it. It's the real chocolate. So the raw unrefined uh, cacao is this. And then when they process it, it's called cocoa. So you want to make sure you get this raw stuff here and it smells so good, doesn't it? Yeah, but what does it do? Okay, so as an athlete, um, you really need to get this into you because it's very rich in magnesium. And magnesium is good for, yeah, muscle expansion and contraction. Yeah. So um, the more magnesium we have, the better it is because then it's um, going to help us with our you know, recovery when we're training. So let's actually mix that up really well. Go on, get into it. <laughs> so we're basically making a chocolate pudding. And the other thing that magnesium is good for, it's actually high in protein. And it's good to get protein from other sources of foods, not just animal proteins. So uh, women actually crave cacao just before that time of the month. Oh, it smells delicious. Yeah, but the reason why we crave it, do you know why we need chocolate? It's like, hand over the chocolate and nobody gets hurt. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just because it's rich in magnesium. And at that time of the month, we're also in that state of contra contraction and expansion in that uterus. And the uterus is a muscle too. So don't feel bad about wanting chocolate at that time of the month. Just get into some cacao. And this is looking absolutely amazing, this chia seed pudding. The oh, only, so I know, how good is it? The only thing it's missing now is some sweetener. And we want to just get some natural sweetener into us. So I am going to use my favourite, which is the coconut flower nectar. It's from Coconut Magic. And we'll probably just put about a tablespoon of that in there, maybe two tablespoons, because it's really low GI. So let's sweeten it up with that. And then when we serve it, do you serve it in the fridge? No, actually, that's actually a really good question, Erin, because chia seeds expand when they're soaked. So as you can see, it's already becoming um, something that's, you know, hard set, or not hard set, but nice and puffy. Um, vegans use chia seeds as an egg replacer because they're a really good sort of gel substance when you soak it in water. And a lot of people don't know what to do with chia seeds other than put them in their smoothies or sprinkle them on their salads. Um, so Erin, get this in a jam jar, right? How pretty does that look? Now, I wanted you to try it and see if you actually like it. So it looks great in there. I think we just need to top it with something. Some berries. Yeah, is that your favourite? Yeah. <laughs> Good. There you go and have some. You can also top it with some goji berries, um, strawberries, whatever's in season. Mmm, it's really good. Is it? Mm. What does it taste like? Chocolate? Chocolate pudding? See, <laughs> a healthy chocolate pudding. It tastes like a mousse, a chocolate mousse. Awesome, that yeah. was the plan. All right, so get into your chia seed puddings this way and the recipe, as I said, is in Real Fit Food, available in bookstores. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy that after or before training in future. It was awesome, thank you. Okay, uh, we'll see you next time for another Fit Food tip.